we begin the celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Para sa mga andidito na ngayon, physically, with us, and for those na nakikisa po sa pagdiriwang sa kanilang mga bahay, welcome po sa ating pagdiriwang. The fourth Sunday of Easter is Good Shepherd Sunday. This image of Christ speaks of His love, care, and self-giving unto death. It also reminds us of this victory through which we are delivered from a futile way of life. This Sunday is also World Day of Prayer for Vocations. We implore the Lord to send shepherds of souls who can lead us to Him and who, like Him, can give themselves for the good of the flock. Let us pray for more vocations bound to serve God through the Church. Dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we once again acknowledge our shortcomings, our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. After curing a cripple, Peter and John proclaim before the leaders of Israel, that their power comes from Jesus, who was crucified but was raised from the dead. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, did all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord 
than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. Thus is rejected by the builders, has become John invites us to marvel at the grace of God, who now calls us his children in his Son, Jesus, who offered his life for all of us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We don't know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please ascend. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. The wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know mine and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. This also I must lead, and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have the power to lay it down, and the power to take it up again. And this command I have received from my Father. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
sumandali. There is always a struggle dito po kapag ka tuwing linggo at yung struggle na yon ay kitang-kita namin sa altar. Ano yung struggle na yon? Ito yung struggle na kung paano may patutupad at sino magpapatupad nung 65 up ay hindi makakapasok at 15 down. Lagi ho yun ang usapan na, pinag-uusapan namin dito at kasama na rin yung mga leader natin sa, sa lipunan. Um, sapagat napakahirap po nun, we understand fully the implication of what we are going through. Make no mistake about it, malinaw sa atin, COVID is real. By this time, may mga kaibigan na kayo, may mga kakilala na kayo na tinamaan. May mga kakilala na kayo, may mga kaibigan na kayo na nasawi. And when we begin to recognize the impact of this pandemic at may pangalan na, ibig sabihin, it getting close to home, to us. So COVID is real. But our, the, our struggle is that whenever we see people being not being able to enter the church, masakit po yun. No? Sapagat it goes against the grain of who we are and it goes against the character ng simbahan wherein everybody is welcome. Bata, matanda, mayaman, walang wala. We don't shoo away people. No? Kaya nga sa pakikipag-usap namin sa, sa mga namumuno sa ating bayan, nakuusapan na po namin na baka naman po pwedeng hindi sila dito sa loob ng simbahan, which is actually the law, but po pwede silang sa labas. Kaya nga, nagdagdag tayo ng maraming upuan sa labas, doon sa gilid, yan sa gilid, no? sapagkat uh, to comply with the requirement of the law. Mahirap, it's a struggle sapagkat, sabi ko nga po kanina, the church do not shoo away people. Everybody is welcome. This is a sanctuary. Kaya nga ito yung isa sa napaka-tinding impact nitong pandemyang ito sapagkat the church welcomes everybody, we should welcome everybody, is now being prevented no, to accept those who are 65 up and 15 pababa. Eh di ba yun naman ang pinakamarami sa pumapasok sa simbahan at nagsisimba on a regular basis. We continue to pray for each other na sana ay matapos na ito. The reason why I started that, sapagkat sa araw na ito, we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday. At yung kapisa ng mabuting pastol, ay kapistahan ng leader na kumukup-kup na tumatanggap at humahanap doon sa mga the least, the last, and the lost. Especially those who are in the margins. So wala sa natura ng simbahan ang magtaboy. It is linked to what we are celebrating today, the Good Shepherd Sunday. Ang ganda po, sapagkat Nung sinabi ng Panginoon that I am the good shepherd, hindi niya sinabi na I am like a good shepherd. No. He introduced himself na ako ang mabuting pastol. Hindi niya sinabi katulad ako ng mabuting pastol ha. No. He revealed himself to us as the mabuting pastol. Yun yung identity niya. He is the mabuting pastol. I am kung babalikan po natin yung sa lumang tipan nung tinanong ni Moses, si Yahweh, paano ba kita papakilala sa mga tao kung sino nagbigay sa akin itong Ten Commandments? And the Lord, Yahweh said, tell them, I am. That's the natura. Kaya nga kung gusto nating makilala yung ating Panginoon na mas malinaw, closer to His nature, yung identity ng mabuting pastol ang isa sa pinakamalinaw ng kung ano siya. At yung relevance ng pagpapakilala niya bilang isang mabuting pastol is very important also. 
sapagkat sa mga susunod na araw, maririnig natin yung, yung instruction ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga apostoles, sa kanyang mga leaders to go into the whole world and preach the good news. To baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In other words, to evangelize. So what will be the identity of these evangelizers? Not as COO, not as CEO, not as a boss, not as a supervisor, not as a president, not as a manager, but as a shepherd. Mabuting pastol. When you go there, you don't go there as this kind of identity. Walang iba kundi mabuting pastol. I'm not saying that these positions are not important. Ay napakahalaga po nun. Dito na nga lang sa simbahan, no? kapag uh, walang supervisor, ang gulo nito. Kapag uh, walang mga manager, ang dominyan. If you do not act as a COO sometimes, then there is no organization. But the goal is not simply to organize. The goal of the Good Shepherd is to lead and to lead back to the Lord the flock. Yun yung goal eh. Yun yung pagkakaiba. Yun yung pagkakaiba sa mga ibang leaders, sa ibang function, sa ibang identity. And the Lord said, I am the good leader. Make no mistake about it that that particular role is intended to bring the flock together and to lead to God. We journey back to God through a good shepherd. Yun yung goal. And dear friends, ang mabuting pastol ay hindi lang tagapamahala. No? Ang, tag, ang mabuting pastol din ay isang tagapag-alaga. Adalasan nga lang po kasi doon sa ating mga sa amin, no? both the church and then also the civil leaders, ang nagiging malinaw lang yung yung identity na tagapamahala, no? pamahalaan. It's both in the church and also in the civil society. And totoo naman po yun. But sometimes when we only center on that, we forget one another and the other aspect of tagapag-alaga. Ang mabuting pastol ay tagapag-alaga rin. Alaga is care. And why is alaga very important to a leader? Because kapag ka marunong kang mag-alaga according to the identity ng isang mabuting pastol, it will give you the courage. It will give you the heart to look for the least, to look for the last, and to look for the lost, and not to give up on the lost. You will scour yung mga iskinita ng buhay at hahanapin yung mga maliliit and preach to them also the good news na kasama kayo. Sana all, ay yung mabuting pastol, yun yung naghahanap ng all. Ay hirap kaya pumunta sa mga iskine. Madaling makita yung mga kaibigan na nagbibigay, malala, mga, may mga position sa society. But to look for the least, the last and the lost, it's a challenge. And if we do not have the heart of the Good Shepherd, it's easy to give up on them. Another aspect ng tagapag-alaga, yung alaga ng mabuting pastol is that sabi na, sabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon sa Ibanghelyo is that I am prepared to lay down my life for the sheep. To lay down. Not to destroy the life of the sheep. But to lay down. To look for those who are lost. To lay down and not to kill, to lay down, and not to murder, to lay down, and not to give up on them. Ganda, no? Kasi kapag ka inaalagaan mo, andun yung, andun yung aspeto ng alaga, 
mga nanay dito, may masama bang anak sa inyo? Wala. Lahat ng anak eh, mabuti. Hindi magagawa yan ng anak ko eh. Inalagaan ko yan eh, di ba? That's your word. No? Hindi yan magagawa ng anak ko. Inalagaan ko yan. And the care of the mother is always transformative. Ganon din yung alaga ng Panginoon. Not giving up on each of us. Dami nating kalokohan eh. But the Lord says, mabuting pastol ako eh. I'm not, the le- I'm not simply an ordinary leader. I will look for you. I will not give up on you. That's a good shepherd. Pero yung mabuting pastol, yung the word shepherd is also a relational term. In two-way process yan eh. No? I know my sheep, ang sabi ng Panginoon, and my sheep knows me. Ang, ang, ang pinapastol, yung mga tupa, ay nakakakilala. Kaya nga, the voice of the good shepherd is familiar to the sheep. Yung amoy, yung yapak, yung boses, and even the whisper of the good shepherd, the sheep is very familiar with the voice. Alam nila, eto na yung mabuting pastol. And that's the reason why it's always a relationship. I know you, and you know me. The Good Shepherd. And how do we, uh, what's our indicator na nakikilala na natin siya? Na aamoy na natin siya? It is when we are already able to pray with the psalmist in the words, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in path of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. For the good shepherd is with me. Kind of all stand. All together, I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Father so that in following his Son Jesus, the Good Shepherd, we may become instruments of his love and care for his people. We implore him and pray, Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Bless our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, deacons, and all church ministers. Give them warm and caring hearts that they may be true shepherds of your people. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Grant that those in public office may be shepherds to those entrusted to their care, placing the welfare of others before their private interest and personal comfort. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Make our families and parishes fertile seedbeds of priestly, religious, and missionary vocations who will continue the mission of the Good Shepherd, seeking out the lost and those outside the fold. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Inspire more young people to find meaning and happiness in a life that is offered to you and dedicated to the service of their brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. 
Embrace our departed loved ones into your loving arms, for being with you is true home, we pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our frontliners, our health workers. We continue to pray for all our church and civil leaders, our shepherds, that the Lord may continue to bless them and enlighten them as they guide us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. We also pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their well-being, for their safety, for their health especially, we pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus, has shown us through his life and teachings how to serve and worship you through intercession of Mary, Mother of God, the Good Shepherd. Provide us with laborers who will make the Church the sacrament of your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in the Paschal Mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. To him the children of light rise to eternal life and the false of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts 
sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Once again, mga kapatid, muli pinapaalala sa atin, we belong to one family, and we have one Father in heaven.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now we offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We shall now say the prayer, the Horatio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Lingayan Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the Church and Lingay and the Gupan, and let your response be grant through your prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your Son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray, Mary, help of Christians, we place all young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest's sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pakikisa ninyo sa banal na misa, sa pagdalaw po ninyo sa Mayno Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work ye have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make your heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you have already reason with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit, followed by the prayer for the blessing ng religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.